All right, y'all, we just rolled up to the spot. I forgot my wicker basket. So we're just gonna use a bag. And it rained like crazy heavy last night. So I'm hoping that leads to bigger mushrooms. Ooh, use a cool stick. Use this as a walking stick. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, rain like crazy. I remember, uh, we were on the highway and we had to go like 40 miles an hour because we couldn't see. It was ridiculous. But yeah, let's keep an eye out for some good old mushrooms. Hopefully it didn't rain too much to the point where nothing wanted to sprout this morning. But I have a feeling that's not gonna be the case. So the first spot we're at right now, well this, the first spot we got to, there's a lot of ground to cover. Um, right now we're just in a, a soccer field. I like to go around the edges here, but also keep, oh, my right here, what do you know? Look at this. They're too wet. I wonder what these were. There. Looks more right there. Nice and close to Yeah. Alright, let's keep on looking. Uh, I did find another one just a second ago, but it was pretty much the same one as what we found before. So I just decided that we might as well. Oh, you know, do this. I knew I should have kept recording for a good reason. These smell good. I'm actually going to. Yeah, these smell good. I don't want to save them. I don't know what they are. Oh, there's a bug on this one. Good old North Dakota mushrooms. Preferably, I like to. Uh, not walk in the grass, but I don't know. I'm used to like the Pacific Northwest where a lot of the the grass isn't as tall, it just makes it harder to look and spot them, you know. But I am filming this on a Pixel 7, uh, testing out the quality of the camera. Right, yeah, I'm not seeing nothing. Let's head back in here before we get too deep. Walking in the, by the riverbank, and I see that. That's kind of cool. Like a red bark or something. Supposedly, there's a beaver out here, and he's causing some trouble, so they had to set a trap out for him. That's what one of the locals said. But I did see the where he was doing some damage. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't run into him. Alright, here's the opening to the next spot. When I drove by earlier this morning, this was a giant puddle right there. But like I said, it might have rained too much for any mushrooms to kind of pop up. But I track this spot quite often. It's not a whole... Ooh, what's this? Look at this. And this one. Cool. Nice and pretty. So I guess it, I'm gonna bring this home. I think. Is there any bugs on it? No. Well, this one. There's a purple hue to it. And this 
some bugs on this one. We'll leave this one behind. This one though might be a keeper. Cool. I'm, uh, oh, here's some more. This one in the ground still. You know. That one's pretty. Cool moss. I'm just gonna put this stuff in my bag real quick. So we're kind of walking around in the spot again. You know, there's these two conks. Yeah, super cool. Super cool. Let's see what else kind of trouble we can get into. Well, this is kind of a cool looking tree. Oh, this mushroom's growing in there. There you go. What do you know? Pick some of those bad boys. They have worms in them. Kind of covered up with worms. Uh, that was not planned either. That was kind of just all sporadic. Like, <clears throat> so maybe the rain did bring up some more mushrooms. This is one I found in a while. You always want to check the dead stuff. And luckily in this area, the dead stuff is everywhere. Got some conks. Are these the red conks? Yeah. Red conks and mosquitoes on me. Some more of them right there. All the way up this tree. There's some. Yeah. Might be not getting the best luck for the other ones. Like the chanterelles and lobsters. Uh, striking out. Chantel, where are you? Oh, wow. This, let me climb. Oh my goodness. We're taking some of these home. This is so pretty. Oh, look at that. That must be Rishi. Yeah, we gotta harvest that. Holy moly, we just ran into the mother load. To be honest, I don't even, there's a big sucker down there too. I don't even know which one these are, to be honest. Here, let's see if we can harvest them. Should have a knife on me. Oh yeah. Nope. Oh yeah, we can harvest that. That's pretty. Cool, I'm gonna harvest all this. we got our wicker basket and you know what they say if you get more than a wicker basket full you're kind of cheating and being greedy and we'll leave that one
I'll have to go home and identify these. Those ones are kind of nasty. That was crazy. I knew we'd find something over here. I just did not know what. I think I'm going to leave the ones on the back side because this is kind of enough, honestly. You don't need that much. You don't need to be greedy. Yeah, I want to see that. But, you know, look at this big one down here. Big sucker. And that one. Huh? Cool. Let me put those in the bag. Oh, there's some more down here. These ones are huge. This one's nice and big too. This is colorful. I don't want to take this one as well. What's this? Is that like a seed? Cool. So, I decided to call it a day mainly because my bag was full. I'm not really sure what I picked today, but that's not a problem. We can do some identification later, and uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. But let me see if I can rotate the camera. I don't know if I can. No, I can't. I'll pause and I'll show you the haul from today. So here's today's haul. A lot of pretty ones. I like this one the best. It's nice and purple. Not my first time seeing this one. But I've never identified it. Lots of good mushrooms. Lots of big ones. So yeah. Yeah, good day. Thanks for watching. And we'll stay tuned for more foraging videos. As well as other stuff. Thank you. Bye.